Hello and welcome to the RM Network. Today we are talking about Midsummer. The new film was written and directed by Ari Aster and stars Florence Pugh, Jack Rayner, and Will Poulter. Essentially this movie is about a group of friends that go to Sweden for this Midsummer festival that happens once every 90 years and then they get caught up in all of the mayhem and you if you've seen the trailers you know it doesn't turn out great. But I don't want to spoil anything because this is a whack movie and I really want to save everything that happens in this movie for people who want to go see it. So going into this movie, I think we were all kind of led to believe it was a horror movie and at no point in this movie was I scared. There was points of uneasiness throughout the entire film, but there was no like jump scares or nothing that was really terrifying. <clears throat> And I think that's going to be really disappointing for a lot of people who were watching the trailer and were sold on this horror film. But this is such a different movie, such a weird, unique movie. First off, I thought everybody gave a fantastic performance. Florence and Rainer were both the standouts in my opinion. But there was this whole settlement of people that was just uneasy because you know that something's off. You know that not everything's right around here. And maybe that's just my American eye looking at this movie, but it was so weird and creepy it wasn't scary it was just creepy and odd throughout this entire movie you're kind of like questioning what is going on here what is the point of all of this and by the end you're still kind of left with these questions it makes me really want to go back and watch it again study it look for the small details but throughout this entire movie as i was watching it you notice that the set design the cinematography the color choices that makes for an incredibly beautiful looking movie. And I think that was all under Arya Stair's direction. Now, this movie has been called pretentious by some, and I understand where they're coming from. I just think that this is a movie that's meant to make you, like, go, huh, by the end? You're not really supposed to understand what went on. And I think the movie's kind of trying to want you to go back and look at it again, look at it through different eyes try to find out the deeper meaning. I think Ari Aster told the movie that he wanted to tell and didn't really take any pointers or notes from anybody else. And honestly, I don't think he had to. This is a weird movie that a lot of my audience kept getting up and walking out of the theater. I don't know how many of them came back, but I just noticed it as I was watching it because I was sitting kind of close to the exit. People just kept coming in and out, and I was like, okay, I guess this just isn't for everybody. And as I'm watching the movie, it's clearly not for everybody. But I think the people that are interested in this movie are really going to want to see this, especially while it's still in theaters. If you have any interest in Midsummer, definitely go check it out. But remember, this is not a horror film. No matter what the trailers led you to believe, this is not a classic horror film in the way that like Child's Play or something like that is. This is one man's visionary direction, and it's just odd throughout the entire thing. I really can't recommend this to just average cinema goers. I think that you really have to understand what you're getting into, and that is this weird, really weird movie. But I think if you understand what you're looking for in this movie, I think that you could really enjoy it. You can really find a good time out of it. And that's what I did. I'm very happy to say that I went and saw this movie. But that is it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, comment. Have you seen Midsummer? Are you interested in seeing it? If you have seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And when you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell icon. It'll notify you when new videos of ours come up. Make sure you follow the RM Network on Instagram and Twitter at the RM Network. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rich underscore Mahalski. Thank you so much for watching this video and every video we put out here. I'll see you next time.